Welcome to Global Tax Talks Tax in 60 Seconds. I'm Will Morris, and here are some things to watch out for in the coming week. Expect to hear continuing talk about the UN. The Tax Committee of Experts is meeting this week in Geneva and is expected to approve, by majority vote, a report on the digitalized and globalized economy. This includes a revised version of a so-called Model Article XX on the taxation of cross-border services, as well as the text of a commentary on this new proposal. The ultimate outcome of Article XX depends upon both how the negotiations on a new UN International Tax Convention go, where the taxation of cross-border services has been identified as a priority issue, as well as which countries decide to enter into or amend existing bilateral tax treaties containing this new provision, probably not that many developed countries. But whatever happens, this proposal will still affect the weather on the question of withholding taxes, especially on payments for services. In other news, there are, once again, rumours that the EU will try to get the VAT in the Digital Age, or VEDA, proposal over the finish line. Apparently, the current holder of the presidency, Hungary, has suggested a time-limited opt-out to the provision that requires platforms hosting ride-sharing and short-term accommodation services to collect and report VAT. Estonia in the past has strenuously objected to this provision, and this in turn has held up quite a number of other quite popular reforms. Expect more information on this this week. Finally, I was in Mexico last week, and two big tax-related issues dominated there, as they do elsewhere. The first is Pillar 2. Mexico has, so far, remained quiet on enacting Pillar 2. But Brazil's adoption on October 3rd of a provisional measure introducing Pillar 2 in Brazil may change that. Now, that measure will need to be confirmed by the Brazilian Congress, but the direction of travel is clear. Second, there was a lot of talk about tariffs, both those currently enforcing Mexico as well as those currently affecting Mexico, but even more about what might happen depending on the results of the US elections next month. Some big increases are currently being talked about, and how that would affect the status of Mexico, the US's largest trading partner, was talked about a lot. So expect to hear much more about this. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and come back next week so you stay Global Tax Ready. (laughs) 